Hi everybody, more uh, rivet precast training. So in this exercise, we're going to look at how we would uh, make piece tickets, but first we need to reinforce the rest of these beams here or inverted T's. So what I've got going on here, I have a section here. Actually, I've been doing this. You can do this. You can take this guy, section mark here, just going to show you what I've been doing. Or even better yet, I got a full section through here. Let's just open the section. And there are my inverted T's. So I'm going to go rebar. I'm going to use this S3 shape, I think. Go there. Okay. Work plane. Oh, need to cover. There we go. Let's see. There we go. And I'll place one there. And then sometime I might go in here and shift this a little bit. There and there. Well, it doesn't matter. It depends on the engineer. I'm just doing this. Don't go out and try to build this. And then I'll take one here. Maximum spacing. And then fix that there if you want. I'm going to just leave it for now. And same here. Okay, so now we have, we should go on our 3D view. So we've got all our beams done, as you can see. So now what we need to do now is start creating our shop tickets for our beams. So basically it's the same thing we've been doing. We did, okay, uh, with the columns. So what we do here is I'm going to escape out of this. And then I'm going to select, yeah, I can take this one first. I'll select this one and the rebar. I think that's it. Make sure you get everything in there. Well, you know what? Better yet, I think we can do the, uh, hmm, you got that. So now we want to create an assembly and the type name. Now, before we've been calling this, we can call this whatever we want, but for this one, I'm going to call it beam. Those other parts, you could have did the same thing, basically. Column, beam, or whatever. Uh, okay, there's our beam, and I'm going to say, okay. So now, as you can see, there's our our new our new uh, beam coming up in the uh, project browser, and these are going to be your cut sheets or your shop tickets. So I'm going to grab this one here. Let's see if I can do something like this. Go here and yep, got it. I'm going to create another assembly here. And then I'm going to say OK. Let's go grab these. I'm going to create another assembly. I'm going to say OK there. So what's happening right now is all these beams are identical because because if they change the uh, the numbering here will change. So I'm going to go assembly here. Okay. Now, I've got that row done. So at this point, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and open this, create these views. And these are pretty standard views that I've been using. And then I'm going to say OK. Okay, so there's my Beam. Now let's go to our sheet. 
And you now let's like take a 3D view. And let's bring the scale down a bit. Let's make it down to probably three eighths, maybe. Yeah, that'll work. So there we have our okay. Now I think maybe for this one I want to go to bigger sheet. I want to go to 11 by 17 sheet. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just cancel out of this, uh, deactivate this view, and I'm going to just grab this sheet here. See if I can do it this way. I'm going to edit this type in the properties. And I'm going to try to reload one here this way. We'll go up to 11 by 17. OK. OK, now I should be there. OK, there it is. OK, that's better. So now we can do, take the 3D view and place it here, you know. And then go back to your project browser. And let's get a part list. Now let's get the material takeoff. That shows us how much concrete. Wow. And then we go with our part list. I don't think we have too much in here. OK, let's see what we got there. Yeah, OK, we do. We got rebar there. So let's go back to that sheet and drag and drop our part list. So you get the idea, and then we want to do a, I guess, a detail section. See what that looks like. Yep. So you guys get it. Um, I'm going to show you what we got here now. So we've got all these nice drawings set up, piece tickets. So here's our column. A second here. There's our column. I did that one. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and put the beam sheet, the beam ticket together. Then we've got our uh, our walls here. There's our wall panel. I'm sorry, that's our slab. These are our wall panels here. Oh, did I make some for the wall panels yet? <laughs> I don't think I did. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. That's how you do the beams or the cut sheet for your beams in Revit Precast. So, hey, guys, uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and we'll move on. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, we go on to double T's maybe, or maybe we'll look at uh, manual flooring. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.